Hi, it's Jesse here at Bullgrid, and I'm here today to help one of our users um, with an issue with their background image. Um, so as you mentioned, um, Jesse, the background image looks good on a desktop screen, um, but as soon as you start viewing it on a mobile device, the background image gets a little bit distorted. I'm going to show you what that looks like. So um, just a little bit shorter screen than what I was looking at, and we can see this white gap appears on the right-hand side. And as we get down to mobile sizes, we'll see this great big gap appear on the right-hand side. Um, and the way that most phones are going to handle this situation is it's going to create a horizontal scroll bar. Um, and that's no fun for anybody um, when they're looking at a site on their um, phone. So I'm going to help you uh, get this fixed. Um, so uh, we had previously mentioned the negative margins that you're using on these heading images. Um, and you mentioned that that was actually the design that you uh, were uh, intentionally creating. Um, and so what you're, what you're after is this uh, kind of left hanging um, area. And that's why you have used a negative margin to move this over to the left. Um, but that's also what's causing the issues with the formatting on mobile. So I'm going to show you how to achieve this design um, without uh, using the negative margins that are interfering with the, with the background image. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go over to edit the page. And the first thing we're going to do is get rid of the negative margins that you have so far. Um, so I'm just going to do control F up here at the top and I'm going to search for uh, negative 250, uh, which is the most common one you've used. Um, and I'm just going to go through these and set the negative margins to zero as I find them. And Make sure to get both the left and right when you're doing this. And I think we should be done after that. Let's check our find. And okay, that's all of them. Um, so now that I've gotten all those negative margins removed, I'm gonna flip back over to the visual tab um, and see what we've got. So we have um, everything set up as aligned now without these sticking out to the left. Um, if I preview the difference here and I switch over to the mobile, uh, we'll see that it no longer gets that big gap on the right hand side. And so that, that's how you can see that the negative margins are actually what's causing that behavior. Um, so now let's go back and let's make sure that you get to keep the design that you wanted where these uh, heading images are over to the left. So um, flip back over to the editor and on each one of these what we're going to do is look for the gray edit section menu and you're just going to change the section width and what that does is it instead of being a, a contained um, row it's now a full width row so i'm going to go through and do that on each one of your headings and go ahead and preview the changes now so we have it's a little bit larger because it is it is a full row and, and you're using um, background images instead of headings for these um, so now that it's full width, it is a little bit larger, but you keep that full width um, jutting over to the left design. Um, and we won't have those issues with the mobile formatting anymore. So that's how we're going to do that. Um, I, I highly recommend um, not using negative margins because it does have unintended consequences as, you, as you've seen. Um, and instead use these full width rows. And that should do the trick for you. Um, I do want to say for, uh, for the purposes of, of accessibility and search engine optimization, um, I would highly recommend um, replacing these background images um, 
with per perhaps you can just use the green and use actual text in these rows um, because uh, these these headings are going to be really important for um, for both your your users who may um, be using a screen reader application um, and for search engine optimization so Google can tell what sections of the page are are about what uh, these images aren't gonna since they're background images you can't even use alternative text to make those accessible so. Um, I recommend considering that, but even in the meantime, if you remove your negative margins and switch those over to a full width row with the section width control, um, that'll give you the design you're after uh, without messing up your background image. So uh, Jesse, I hope that helps. Uh, please let us know if you have any more questions.